Yo, Kyle Wilson here, and welcome back to another original VV and Ecomi video. And in this one, guys, we got an announcement of a new artist on the platform, guys. And without further ado, let's just jump right in. So we got VV welcomes Jermaine Rogers right here, man, in the house. All right, so we'll get into this article, Jermaine Rogers is. Will this boost up the Omi price to back up to one cent? So let's be a little realistic here. Not do crazy price predictions, but let's just get to the base. Get back to one cent. Are we going to be able to see a one cent this year? So we'll talk about a little bit about that. Okay, but before we do, let's go ahead and just read this article real quick. All right. It says the punk. Or the rock, punk, and grunge scene of the late 80s heralded a new age of music fans, and with it came the golden age of the gig poster. Few names are more synonymous with the, the resurgence of this art form than Jermaine Rogers, whose work is recognized for continuously pushing boundaries, whether social, cultural, or aesthetic. Jermaine's career really took shape in the mid 90s in the poster art and street art scene in his huge hometown of Houston, Texas. While his attributes, while he attributes his early influences in the poster art scene to artists like Teddy Bond, Frank Kozik, and Rick Griffin, his artistic influence reached as far back as the post-impressionist era, drawing inspiration from artists such as Van Gogh, Matisse, and Dial. Uh, he is also heavily influenced by comic art masters such as Graham Ingalls, Steve Ditko, and L.B. Cole. I had no longer term agenda of any sort in the beginning. I just wanted to have a part in a scene I really enjoyed being, enjoyed being a part of. Those first few years were really about figuring out the craft, learning the rules, and then figuring out which ones you want to break. You figure out who you are, and you learn to stop copying your idols. You learn to embrace some of your little imperfections on reality. It will become pivotal parts of your style. Rain Robert rogers free press houston from 95 onwards rogers has been continuing to create poster art for true legends of the music scene including david bowie nine inch nails queens of the stone age radiohead neil young childish gambino and the run the jewels to name a few all right and there's some of his featured artwork notably his work cataloged among the permanent collections of rock and roll hall of fame in cleveland ohio as well as the experience music project in Washington. In the last decade, Jermaine's portfolio has significantly expanded into paintings, and he is recognized for in the designer vinyl art toy scene with a wide range of award-winning limited edition releases the genre. In collaborations with brands like Metacom, Strange Co., Kid Robot, and D. Rosette 72. Jermaine Rogers and Vivi. Over the years, Jermaine Rogers has become a regular at Comic-Con, Prints, paintings, and designer vinyl figures are always in high demand. These exclusive releases are instantly sought after people in the world of pop culture collectibles. In the near future, fans can expect a range of Jermaine Rogers' works to launch on TV, from 3D digital collectibles to stunning artwork. All of us at VV would like to extend our warmest welcome to Jermaine. Look forward to sharing his extensive portfolio of works with you all in the very cool, man. Very cool. And there you go. There's one of his like vinyl figures right there. Um, as you can see, it's like a you know, full size one. You can check out his website, rogers.com, and see, you know, he's got some vinyl toy figures. Um, some of them, you even have the Dunny here, which is uh, probably you could bet you could find maybe on the Kid Robot website, maybe one of those special edition that you may not be able to find, but. This one right here. This one was a cool one. My, one of my favorite. This pink one called the Vile Specimen Number Twenty Nine Reveal, and uh, that one's kind of my favorite one. I think out of the bunch, the Dunny's pretty cool. This one's kind of cool. The um, the rabbit right here, kind of creepy, like with the you know the little knife there, and things like that. But yeah, very cool toys and artwork. The raccoon as well. That gives me like Guardian Galaxy vibes. Uh, the Candyman. <laughs> Willy Wonka and the Candyman. Um, you can check out, he's got like tons of you know, art prints, gig posters, toys and original art. 
Um, so you want to definitely check out his website and uh, possibly pick something up if you're if you uh, like his artwork and his toys and that. Um, you can also learn more about him on his own website, obviously. He's got a Facebook, um, things like that, Instagram. You want to give him a follow on there. Um, yeah, this is just more of the, sh uh, the same, though. Just kind of like some of the bands he did artwork for, things like that. So really exciting, man. Um, it, it, if VD's not getting the attention of the entire NFT space um, and really, like, everybody like you know big names like if you you know whether you're i don't know if you're a huge collector you're a huge fan like if this isn't like attracting like big names to like celebrities if this isn't like bringing those types of eyeballs to vv i'll be shocked because this is the type of level vv is just hitting on all cylinders right now i mean there's there's literally something for everybody um in the upcoming drops they, and the ball is still going to roll, right? They're still going to announce more things. Like we haven't even we haven't even had a Marvel drop, so the this has to be turning the heads of a lot of different people. And if it's not, it is absolutely inevitable. It's like Thanos. It's absolutely inevitable. It's like Kane the Conqueror. It's absolutely inevitable that it's going to happen. Are you positioned? You have enough Omi right now. That's the question you should be asking yourself right now. This is not financial advice. This is entertainment only. But as you know, um, I, I'm stacking Omi, man. Like, if you guys have been watching my videos, a couple weeks ago, I stacked up. I put 2K into Omi. Um, I already had a, a small bag. So I just had to make sure I get my Omi holdings right. I got, like, you know, nine, almost ten sets right now. I'll probably have 11 um, here at the end of the week. Maybe 12. I don't know. But the real question is, do you have enough Omi? Because on the flip side, they're going to have the Master Collectors Program. So not only is Omi going to burn like crazy this Comic-Con and all these future drops that they're announcing and yet to be announced, like how many billions of Omi is going to be burned? All right. I think there's like what a circulation of, um, I don't even know. We'll have to go to CoinGecko. Which I'll do maybe not in this video, but those Omi tokens are going to be burned and they're, they're never going to come back into circulation. So that that's going to be what you need to be asking yourself is do you have enough omi and it's you know in my opinion there could be a good chance like we we are in july you know if bitcoin does crash yeah it will affect i think the macro crypto aspect of it but omi as a whole is not going anywhere and they're going to continue to burn this token okay um drops are going to continue to burn marketplace is going to continue to burn and the circulating supply is going to go down, 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 right? And it doesn't really matter how much Omi they unlock or who unlocked this, who sent how much to, you know, BitForex, this wallet sent, like, in the long run, right? The the amount of wallets keep increasing, okay? It keeps getting more decentralized among wallet holders, and the token's going to keep burning. And, you know, even if it doesn't get to one cent this year, it really doesn't matter. It's like what... It's like when that will happen. But you should be really focusing on the short term and acquiring as much Omi. And yeah, so that's all I really got on the price, guys. Um, that's that's about it. But hopefully you guys like the video. If you guys like the video, you know what to do. And if you don't like the video, you know what to do. Uh, but smash the like button if you do like it uh, because it helps me break through the algorithm, helps support the channel, and I appreciate you guys. Make sure you guys hit the sub and bell get notified for news and updates like this one and as always love vv be like an nft be authentic and i'll see you guys in